they can sleep through the night. I've done it. My daughter slept through the night since she was three months old. We all struggle with putting your babies to sleep. I'm sure there are lots of mothers out there who are going crazy because we don't get any sleep. The babies don't get any sleep. We're cranky during the day. We go to bed cranky, we wake up cranky. Let's stop this. Let me tell you the techniques that actually worked for me. They definitely worked. It's not something that I read in a book. They tested, they tried, they tested. They're 100% proof. <laughs> They've tested by my clients as well. Here we go. Do not co-sleep with your babies. I know they're very cute and you want to spend as much time as possible with them, but that ruins the sleeping routine for your baby and they expect you to be there with them at sleep time all the time. So you're creating your, your problem by yourself and for you, let's just not do it. Just don't co-sleep. The consistency is a key. I prefer putting my, bed, my children to bed with a shower, brushing their teeth, putting their pajamas on, they read the stories and the bedtime. They know exactly what is going to happen next and they know what time, 9 o'clock in my house, my, my kids are much older, 9 o'clock in my house is lights off. The lights off, meaning time to go to sleep. This is not time to read a book. If they miss out on one single step, it doesn't really matter. Nine o'clock, the lights off, bedtime. But that's for my kids. My kids are like 11. So we are talking about the babies here. When my kids were little, this is, uh, for the night time, I used to put them to bed at 7, 7.30. It was all depends on the routine that your family runs on. I love to have a dinner with my family and then putting the kids to bed and then actually have some time to myself as well. From the day one, from the first bath, you have, from the first cuddle with your baby, just remember that's a human being. This is not just a toy that you are going to put to bed and pick it up and play. Whatever you do now is going to set the tone for your parenting for the future and the parenting is a very long time so stay consistent you, before you even go into the labor you have to think what sort of parent I'm going to be what kind of routine how is my family functioning right now what time do I, me and my partner go to bed and that's the time you need to work around your family baby you don't need to adjust to the baby you don't need to change what you do just because you're having a baby what you need to do you need to adjust the baby routine that is work for you so what i would suggest for you, uh, for anybody to do is to set up the routine that works for you um, let's say there is a special toy there is a special pajamas there is a special just that's something special that you would like to do for your child here we go, the one trick that always works, no matter what, it just really doesn't matter what you do, whatever technique you use to put your baby to sleep, it doesn't matter. That works all the time. That works for me, that works for the parents uh, that I taught that it just does. When you have a baby, and I'm not talking about the babies, the newborn babies, I'm talking about the six weeks old, it would be a very good point to start because before that they just you just have to go with the flow but going with the flow that still means you have to guide that flow you're like a river you just guide sliding through anyway get back to the fitting and sleeping get back to the sleeping so one tip that i give to everyone do not pick up your baby during the night I know you need to feed the baby and you want to breastfeed. Switch from breastfeeding to the bottle with the breast milk, obviously, but don't breastfeed the babies because that's the extra interaction they actually don't need at night. This is the quality time that you need to spend during the day with the baby when the baby is awake and you create the memories. During the night, everybody needs to have a rest. That's why it's a night time, it's a sleep time. The longer the baby sleeps, 
the more chance of babies get to go into the deep sleep. So the feeding time, you come, you come in to feed your baby and don't turn the lights on. Don't talk. Be quiet. No noise. Bring the bottle with you to the bed. You hold the bottle very quietly. Don't talk. No eye contact. Quiet. The most important thing of all, do not pick up your child from the crib or the cot. Anywhere your child will be sleeping, do not do that. At night time, take it more as a necessity rather than pleasure. It's not pleasant to be cranky during the day. It's not pleasant for your child to mis misunderstand with this guy did as well. Anyway, that's my techniques that worked for me. Worked perfectly. Um, leave your comments below um, what works for you. If you disagree with anything that I said, I would like to know. If you agree, give me a thumbs up. See you next time. Bye.